But as a young guy, he used to come home from his university classes and he would practice all his uh, teachings on me, tape my wrists and tape my ankles and you know, he would have been 20 years old, I probably would have been 15, so oh, that's, that's 50 years ago. And uh, here he is today, uh, going, uh, having an incredible honor going into the uh, Trainers Hall of Fame. Is uh, um, seems fitting, but almost seems surreal. Kenny is one of the best guys you ever meet. He's a very generous guy, and he's just uh, he's well. Any, anytime anything went wrong, those guys are always right there, and he's you know right there to help you out. And just the best treatment you could get. And, uh, him and his staff, or uh, Kenny, would led the way, and he just uh, he was a. I know you look up to him for sure. Early morning coffee and. Uh... Sitting in the training room with Kenny, I think, uh, had a lot of great memories of just good conversations, talking, talking hockey, talking life, and and uh, him taking care of uh, the guys in the room. I think to be, you know, recognized by the NHL and by your peers for the amount of time you put in is is very special. I think it's it's proof in your pudding that you were good at what you did and you were respected by the guys in in your field. When I was sick and I went through that. Uh, whole ordeal of not sure of kind of how to deal with it and how to approach it and um, you know the phone call that I had with Kenny was you know obviously an emotional one for me and um, he was he was uh, you know he was really good to me and, and he kind of put things into perspective and, and said you know let's let's not worry about hockey hockey secondary him and I have got a, a special relationship um, from that because it was a very personal thing and it was a very difficult thing for me to deal with and uh, uh, that's something that always you know stands out to me about Kenny. Um, I have a whole lot of respect for Kenny and I know everyone that uh, that I played with and was around him felt the same way I mean he, he was a guy that you know when you're injured or had problems you know you he was the guy that took care of you and um, you know there was always a lineup that's the one thing I do remember there was always a lineup to get into his little you know the medical area that was always kind of the, the place to hang out and a lot of that was just because of Kenny and you know the way he handled himself he was very you know very open. We've, we've lived a blessed life really as a family and um, who, who gets to do that not many people so having him around and, and working together and, and to see the respect that he has from all my former teammates, uh, coaches, managers, everybody within the hockey world uh, uh, and you know evidenced by the fact that he was chosen to, to be on Team Canada and and uh, to represent the country many times and be a part of special things it just wasn't because he was on championship teams it's because he had the pedigree and the you know and the winning attitude to be a part of those so 